There are several classic demonstrations and very simple basic demonstrations that involve the use of ammonia gas. One question I have frequently been asked is, where do I get ammonia gas from? And very often these demonstrations are bypassed simply because they do not have a ready source for ammonia gas. So what I would like to do is just briefly explain a simple way that anyone can produce ammonia gas for doing demonstrations. It's very simple. You need concentrated ammonium hydroxide solution. You need a hot plate, a basic Erlenmeyer flask fitted with a one hole rubber stopper and a delivery tube long enough to reach the container that you're going to collect the ammonia gas in. Now, the procedure is to place about 100 milliliters of the concentrated ammonium hydroxide solution into the flask. Turn on the hot plate. Do not crank it all the way up because you do not need high temperature. Using your container, for example, a flask, remember that ammonia gas is lighter than air. Also remember that it's very soluble in water. You cannot collect it by water displacement. So it's collected by the downward displacement of air. You would take your delivery tube and insert it into the flask with the flask mouth down. Now, Problem is, we never know when the ammonia flask is filled. So the rule here is overdo it. Collect more gas than you really think you might need because you want to be certain that the flask is filled. Once you feel it's filled, make sure you have a solid stopper ready to stopper your flask to contain the gas. Now. The heating process is very simple. I said don't raise the temperature too high. At about a temperature of 35 to 40 degrees, your liquid ammonium hydroxide will begin to bubble. You will call it boiling. It is not boiling. What it is doing is off-gassing. The ammonia gas, remember there are 14 moles per liter, the ammonia gas is escaping from the water. And you do not want to boil it. That's the key factor. Because you do not want water vapor traveling over with your ammonia gas. If you begin to see large amounts of water vapor condensing on your flask walls, your temperature is too high. You just want to get gas off of here. You do not want to get water vapor. When you're finished, simply Take your flask, remove it from the heat source, and cool it down. But remember, do this in a hood. You do not want to do this out in the open classroom simply because of the ammonia gas vapors. With 100 milliliters of, ga uh, of uh, concentrated ammonium hydroxide, you can actually collect four to five liters very easily of ammonia gas. So, you're not going to refill this every time you want to fill a flask. You can fill several flasks from the same sample. 